and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Jolie Greenbaum. I'm Mary Keurig's executive assistant, and I help her in filing unique and complex legal immigration applications. For today's video, we're going to be talking about photos in spousal sponsorship applications. So similarly to reference letters, it's not actually mandatory in spousal sponsorship applications that you provide photos. If you have been living together, you have been married for more than two years, it is your first marriage, and if you have children. If you meet those four criteria, you're not required to submit photos. However, similarly to the reference letters, in every single one of our spousal sponsorship applications, we always provide photos. We feel that it is really helpful for the application. It just shows uh, additional proof of the relationship. So we always find this helpful. And again, it's just a little piece to a large rigorous process that, that we follow, a rigorous procedure that we follow at our office that is really helpful to submitting a complete and full application. With regards to the photos themselves, you'll see that in the IRCC document checklist that they suggest that if you are providing this as additional documentation that you only need to provide 20 photos. At our office, we always provide between 20 and up to 50 photos. We really find it's helpful for the officer to be able to see that you've documented your relationship from beginning up until now for however many years that you've known each other. And it's really nice to be able to see the progression of that relationship. With regards to the actual content of the photos, it can really be anything. It can be the spouses uh, at holiday events, just daily outings with family, with friends. It can be selfies, it can be professional pictures, it can be from weddings. It's just really, really important to show that throughout the years, for however long you've been together, that you've documented your relationship, there is photo evidence. And it's really important that the photos that we include in our applications we like to have them printed on paper, so not actual photo paper, but just on regular white paper, and usually have two to four photos on each piece of paper. This is much easier for the officer to look through as opposed to having to look through physical photo paper, having to flip through that. Being able to just flip through a piece of paper, being able to see two to four pictures at once makes it a lot easier, and anything that can make the process easier and simpler for the officer is always a benefit. We also suggest to always print uh, using colored paper. It just makes the qualities of the photo look better. And it is really, really important that next to each photo you include the date that the photo was taken and a small description on what's happening, who's in the photo, because again, this is much easier for the officer to be able to associate the name, the date, the event. And it's important that these names, dates, and events match with what is being written in our legal submission letter, what is in the forms and what is also in the other documentation that we are submitting with the application. So if you have any questions with regards to photos for spousal sponsorship applications or just the general application process in general, um, if you have any questions with regards to photos for spousal sponsorship applications or just the process in general, we would be more than happy to help you with the process. Please feel free to contact our office for more information and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.